Hi. So I know in uh, in this channel, we it's all arts, science, and math. But today, we're gonna make that a little different. We're gonna add one more activity. Reading. So today, we're not gonna read the whole book. But we're going to read a little. So, yeah. Hope you like it. One second. Let me bring it down so you can see. I'll show you the pictures if there's any pictures you need to see. Sink bomb and catch. Ketchup face and the ba badness of badgers. Chapter one. In which in which our heroes wake up and a startling discovery is made. It was early morning and dawn was breaking over the peaceful little island of Great Kerfuffle. The golden sun peeps over the horizon, checks, checks to make sure no one was looking, and slowly climbs into the blue sky. And far below, in a tall tree in the garden of a lovely house high on a hillside above the tiny village of loose pebbles, a blackbird, a blackbird cleared its throat and broke forth into song to greet the new day. Inside the lovely house, in a beautiful pink bedroom, a little girl opened her eyes and leapt out of bed, dashing to the window. She flung the shutters open, wide open. The sunlight streamed in, bringing with it the sweet smell of blossoms on the morning breeze. As, in, as if in greeting, the tree waved gently and rustled its leaves. There, on the nearest branch, so close you could almost touch it, perched the blackbird, thir thrilling, thir trilling merrily. Hey, blackbird, shut your beak, yelled the girl, and she threw a shoe at it. The shoe bounced off the branch and fell to the ground, where it was picked up by, by a passing cat. The blackbird stuck out its tongue and blew a defiant raspberry. Then it flew away. The little girl slumped grumpily back to her bed, shut her eyes. But it was no good. She couldn't get back to sleep. After a few minutes, she, she tried. She tried actually getting into the bed and lying down, but that didn't help either. So then she decided to go and jump on her brother's face. Seconds later, in the bedroom, just across uh, the landing, the little girl's brother pulled one of one of her toes out of his right nostril and groaned warily. <laughs> Morning, stink bomb," said the girl. "said the girl cheerfully, flumping on a zombie. Time to get up." Why, stink bomb? Grouchily, because she said no said the little girl. It's a beautiful morning and the sun is shining and we can play games and have adventures and if you don't get up, I'm going to put oatmeal down your pants forever. So there. Tink Bomb thought about this. The idea of having oatmeal down, put down his pants forever certainly sounded interesting, but he wasn't sure. But he wasn't sure he would actually like it. So he decided to get up. As he did, he made a disturbing discovery. On his bedroom floor lay a small cremic pig with its feet in the air and a hole in its tummy. Hey, ketchup face, he said grumpily. Have you been raiding my piggy bank? Ketchup face, ke ketchup face shook her head. No, she said. Well, any somebody has. Look, he picks up the piggy bank and shook it. A solitary penny fellow out and landed with a little thunk on the carpet. I I had a twenty dollar bill in there and and it's gone. Ketchup face shrugged. 
It wasn't me, Superbone scratched his head. Sister had many faults, but telling lies wasn't one of them. Well then, he said, it must have been badgers. Kesha face thought about this. She wasn't really sure what badgers were, so she just nodded and tried to look wise. Then she changed her mind and asked, what's a badger? It's a, it's a, well, you know. They dig holes in the lawn and eat all the worms. They knock over garbage cans and frighten chicken and drive too fast. Oh, said Kesha Face. And do, oh, said Kesha Face. And do they empty piggy banks as well? Probably, Stink Bomb said no. It sounds like the kind of thing they would do. Cause your face stretched her, scratched her head. It was quite a pretty head, except when the front of it was covered with ketchup and chocolate and jam and mud. Just at the moment, it was clean. But it was fair. But it was a fair bet that by the end of chapter four, it would be filthy again. Does it? She asked. Simpom nodded in a big brotherly kind of way. Of course it does, he said. Think about it. They do bad things because they're badgers. If they weren't bad, they'd just be girls. I bet our garbage can's been knocked over, too. Because your face opened the window and looked outside. Sure enough, the family of garbage can, the family of garbage can was lying on its side in the yard giving Every indication of having been badgered. Gosh, Ketchup Face said, impressed. I suppose that proves it. The badgers have taken your twenty dollar bill. What are we going? What are we going to do about it? Stink Bomb drew himself upright. Then he drew himself sitting down. And then he drew himself winning a race and getting a medal. And then he drew a dinosaur taking a bath. Then he put his pencil down and said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to see the king. Okay. Uh, oops. Sorry about that. Um, so I hope you like the first chapter. Um, once again, the name of this book is Stink Bomb and Ketchup Face and the ba- Badness of Badgers. Um, uh, so, that was, so yeah, that was it for today because that was, that was one chapter and that's how much I was going to read. So, bye.